Hello, so today we're going to look at another classic firearm. Um, if you can read, I don't know how well you can see that, but it says HS Model 22S uh, caliber uh, 22 Magnum, made in West Germany. Um, originally, I thought HS stood for um, high standards, but uh, after doing some research, I found out that it's a, a Herbert Schmidt, or yeah, I guess that's how it's, you know, Herbert Schmidt is uh the make of this so um i got it used off of someone um uh, for like a hundred dollars but it says sierra six there and a little number there it says 85 which um i did a little bit of research and that's supposedly the year that it was made so and then it was you know imported to sport arms florida miami miami so um let's Get a weight on it. So we got 29 ounces. And let's see how the trigger pull is. I mean, the gun's got a pretty good trigger pull and stuff. Uh, so... Yeah, two, two pounds, five ounces. So, it's pretty nice. It's an inexpensive gun, but it does fire really nice. Uh, it's got a little screw there so you can drift the uh, rear sight. Front sight's just a regular blade. Uh, it's got the nickel finish and stuff. Um, it's got this little thing, which I'm not sure, but as all I can see is you can, um, if you push... The firing pin in, it, it comes up. So it, I think it's just a way it assembled. And there's a little notch in the uh, hammer. Now, some of them didn't have that. So I'm not sure why it was added later. But uh, it's very close to... This is a Heritage. And uh, everything about it is almost identical to the Heritage. So they were... Kind of modeled after each other, I guess. But, um, you know, it doesn't have the safety like the uh, Heritage has. Uh, but the hand grips, uh, I read somewhere that they're interchangeable. As you can see, they are they look the same. So, they are pretty close. Um, now, let's see. Uh, they made them for a while. Uh, I forget the exact year that they started. But they did make them for a while. The company's no longer in business, or at least I haven't been able to find anything about them. Um, this is in pretty good shape. I, you know, I got it from a friend. He wanted to get rid of it to get something semi-automatic. But, uh, yeah, let's take it out to the range and see how it shoots. Hello. So today we're going to look at a classic 22 revolver. This is by uh, Herbert Smith, I guess. It says HS on it. I did a little bit of research. It's a Model 21S. Um, I thought it was a high standard at first, but it's uh, Herbert Smith. It's German made. It's a, made in West Germany. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'll, I'll do a better close-up on the table. But um, i got a target set up at 10 yards. I'm going to fire some Federals. And let's see how it shoots. Shoots good. I'll put a few more rounds down range, but again, this is a 22 uh, long rifle. They t I do have it with a 22 Magnum cylinder, and it's made by Hubert and Smith or Hubert Smith. So out at the range, it did pretty good. I forgot to mention that um, when I got it, it came with a 22 mag cylinder, and then it also has the uh, 22 long rifle. So it was kind of nice. To, you can swap it out. Um, that's like three, uh, cylinders worth of shooting at 10 yards. So, yeah, it shoots okay. Um, I wasn't trying for pinpoint. I was just, you know, shooting. So, it does pretty good. 
taking it apart. It's a typical um, old style 1873 type revolver. So you've got a button there, you push the button, pin comes out, and then you just pops the cylinder out, and then you can put, you know, the 22 mag one in, or you could put this one back in. So it just goes in like that, and then you hit the button again and push the pin in. Sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, finagling to get it all aligned, which, there we go. So, and then that's, that's about it. And it's got, you know, so the positions that it's got is you've got down when it's fired and you've got like a little um, half cock type thing. Well, this is half cock and that's when you can load it. The cylinder turns freely then. And then you pull it all the way back and the cylinder doesn't turn when it's in the, you know, in either of those positions. So, um, yeah. So it was a, it's a neat little, uh, revolver. I picked it up cheap and, um, I like the old cowboy style guns. So I got that. And, but like I said, this is almost identical to the heritage firearms, which this is a heritage firearm. Um, I did try to switch the cylinders. They didn't swap so they're they're a little bit different but uh they're really close so if you you know if you could find one for the money i mean they don't, they're not expensive you know they're like 100 to 300 dollars depending on what it is i didn't have the box or anything so this one's not valued as high but it's a herbert and smith uh, model 21 s and yeah i don't know how well you can see that but uh yeah it's a neat little revolver and i figured i'd show it so hope you enjoyed the video and hope you have a good day